Oh, that was a saga. The machine's finally here. It's got to jack the trailer up, maybe even take the two back wheels off and use it as a ramp. I've got some timber and sheet steel plates to make a uh, little ramp out of. And just drag it down. That wasn't too hard. This thing has solid axles, so there's no leaf springs or anything to compress. It's not even, axles aren't even touching the ground. That worked really well. I used jack stands and things to even it up before I finally lowered it down. Came out good. I think a license plate holder I made, someone's already wanged it. If this was my trailer I wouldn't have this step on here, I'd have a little have it flush with an attachable reinforced short ramp for this sort of job. But it's not my trailer so I can't modify it. Well, she's officially on the ground. Wasn't an easy job, but it's on. Now I've just got to get it over here. That's going to be even more interesting. Well, the trailer's back together again. The lathe's nice and safe. I know this video is going to make it look quick and easy, but trust me, it ain't. <laughs> it's very hard. And not the kind of thing to be tried by amateurs. If you've never dealt with heavy machinery or heavy fabrication or anything like that, don't try and buy one of these and just skid it off a rental trailer. You just end up killing yourself. Even what I'm doing here is probably pretty dangerous. But it's worth it in the end. It's a nice old machine. I had a look inside the gearbox today when I was at the yard and in the good light you can see everything's just nice. Stick that cover back there. I think that's high low. Reverse should be this. Forward and reverse. But reverse doesn't want to stay in. Still a lot of oil in it. I have to get the correct spindle oil for it. This has got to be the heaviest thing my car has ever towed. We've been pushing 2.2 tonnes with this one on. The trailer itself would weigh a fair bit and the lathe, well, yeah, it's a lot of weight. Good thing is I can unbolt these jaws and turn them around. You don't have to wind them all the way out. Although whoever ran it had a habit of running into them. They all scored up. Oh well, she'll clean up, adjust all the gibs and things, get all the muck off the waves and some fresh oil. It'll be a ripper. It's a decent sized trailer too. This is what I borrow when I've got to move big stuff. And that's the winch and everything that I put on. I welder all that up myself. It's just using a stick welder too. Perfect welds. You don't need a MIG. They said they were going to paint it though and they haven't painted it yet. I just put a bit of primer on it when I finished it. Oh well. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, put a video up once I get it in place and running. Well, it's getting dark, it's late, but the lathe move has been a success. And I'm just getting ready to run the 2 horsepower Brook single phase motor on it. This 4 horsepower 3 phase motor I'll have to work on replacing. Even this Brook motor won't fit inside the housing. There's also an integral coolant pump and tank in there as well. It's pretty good. So yeah, big tidy up tomorrow. I'll throw this thing on the trailer, take it back with me. 200 kilos of crap. Okay, well I just did a bit of testing and she runs alright. I haven't been able to turn anything yet. I don't really want to because I'm going to clean all these ways up and get all the dirt and crap off them. But as far as motor power wise she needs more power. And the belt's gone loose again. But yeah, I'm only running half horsepower here. That's neutral idle. Spindling 
engagement. with the motor. beautiful. She's a bit noisy but no big obnoxious clunks or grinds from bad gears or anything. It's really nice. The gearbox is really nice inside. Lubrication works well. It sprays oil everywhere. But yeah, she's a goer. Thanks for watching. I'll get some proper lights set up one day and I'll do a video during the daytime. <laughs>